two men have taken a young lady as a hostage and are on their way to the helipad for the escape. The SWAT team storms the rooftop and shoots at the escapees, but the armed leader detonates a bomb planted on the rooftop and makes the SWAT fall back. The Metropolis City Police Department, MCPD, dispatched helicopters to take down the abductors. Seeing this, criminals open fire at the city police helicopters. In addition to the machine guns, they bring rocket launchers as well. The hostage is none other than the famous news reporter from the Daily Planet, Lois Lane. She is witty and quickly gets on their nerves. Soon, the unexpected happens, as a teenage girl bearing an S on her bosom goes after the criminals. She smashes one helicopter with the terrorists and blasts through a rocket fired at her. Kara, also known as Supergirl and the cousin of Superman, is unpredictable, as she attacks the remaining thugs and their leader while rescuing Lois Lane. Just then, Superman arrives. He sends the leader plummeting into the water after threatening the group to surrender. Superman puts out the rooftop fire with a thunderclap. As he finishes, he is confronted by Supergirl, who blames him for forgetting who he really is and tells him not to interfere with her work again before she leaves. In the far west, a strange object falls towards Earth at the speed of light. It is heading for the Arizona desert after colliding with an orbiting satellite. Meanwhile, Lois Lane is having a chat with her real boyfriend, fellow news reporter and colleague Clark Kent, who is also Superman, when they are disturbed by Lombard. He has come to watch the game on Clark's computer and to flirt with Lois while he's there. Clark enters the room and Lombard falls off the chair. Lois is mad at Clark for not disclosing their relationship to the public. Just then, they are notified of the incoming alien object, and Clark takes to the skies as Superman. Flying beyond the speed of sound, Superman readily intercepts it just before the meteor crashes into the populous city. Superman learns that the meteor is actually a robot, and he promptly defeats it after exchanging a few heavy blows with it. He narrowly succeeds in stopping the robot just before it activates the beacon to notify the mothership. In Smallville, Kansas, Kara, aka Supergirl, is pretending to be someone else and living with Clark's Ma and Pa. Ma is very understanding of Kara's situation, and as soon as she sees the most recent Superman encounter on the news, Kara flies off to find him. Kara pays the Daily Planet and the staff a visit before she goes to the Fortress of Solitude looking for him. At the fortress, Kara finds Superman, but is taken aback by the sight of the robot. Just then, she remembers everything. She tells Superman the story of Kander, the capital city of Krypton, which disappeared in the blink of an eye with her people. At the time, Kara and her family were visiting their friends in Kander, and that is when the drones attacked the city, killing many and capturing others. Kara and her family somehow escaped with the help of their friends, but their mothership called Brainiac came over, separated the whole city from its people, and took it away from Krypton. After hearing this tragic story, Superman is determined to look for Brainiac and put an end to its destructive reign. Superman returns to Lois's place while she is busy with her work, and she informs him of the latest gossip. She wants a normal life with him, but Superman is worried about the threats she would face if she stepped into his world. He hugs her, bidding goodbye as he prepares to embark on a deep search in the vast universe to find the malevolent conqueror, Brainiac. While traveling through space, Superman learns that Brainiac is a cyborg who was originally a Kaluan scientist, subjected himself to extensive cybernetic and genetic enhancements, and that the fate of Krypton's capital, Kander, is still a mystery. Clark flies through the galaxy in an attempt to track down Brainiac. That is when he sees an armada of drones attacking a planet. He witnesses the drones killing the planet's inhabitants and fights them, trying to destroy and disperse as many as he can. Though he attempts to stop them, Superman witnesses Brainiac capture the planet's capital city, just as he did with Kander. Brainiac then fires a solar aggressor missile to cause the planet's sun to explode, consuming the planet. The explosion knocks Superman unconscious, and he is brought aboard Brainiac's ship. Back on Earth, a group of North Korean people trying to flee the country are confronted by the armed forces, and Supergirl comes to their rescue. All over the world, Kara is busy while Superman is absent for a few weeks on his mission. The Daily Planet chief wants Lois Lane to write about Superman's absence, but she is not too pleased about it. A million light years away, in the center of Brainiac's ship, Superman is being held unconscious and studied in an examination room by the androids. Superman awakens and readily fights his way out. He flies through the vessel and gets attacked by an alien beast who has escaped from a pod. Soon, 
he discovers a room full of bottled cities, including Candor. Before he can react, he's attacked by Brainiac. At this point, Brainiac confirms that he spared Krypton because of its eventual destruction and reveals that he has been collecting information on all the planets he visited before destroying them. Using Superman's spacecraft, Brainiac decides to map a course to Earth while sending Superman into Candor, the miniature capital of Krypton. Lois Lane gets Jimmy Olsen to activate his special watch that Superman gave him long ago. But instead of Superman, Kara shows up, complaining about the extreme noise. Lois introduces herself as Clark's girlfriend, and they have a heart-to-heart -heart chat about the situation, as Kara reveals the incoming attack by Brainiac, explaining that she has little chance to save them if Superman fails to stop him. Inside Kander, his strength is waning due to the artificial red sun as he tries to escape the containment. While trying to act up against the situation, Superman is restrained by drone agents sent by Brainiac. The citizens then explain to him how things go around there since they were put under control of Brainiac. Fortunately, Superman meets his uncle Zorel and Aunt Alora. They explain that Brainiac was instructed to learn all that is knowable about the galaxy. Being a cyborg, Brainiac interpreted his directive literally and realized that he could not achieve this goal because life keeps changing. His knowledge of one world would become out of date as soon as he moved on to the next world. Brainiac therefore destroys civilizations after studying them so that they cannot change further, thus leaving him with a literally complete and up-to-date knowledge of them. He can't control a living thing without destroying what's alive about it, so his whole system is alive. Superman formulates a plan to escape from Kander by rallying against the drones. He defeats the agents and transports himself back to the main ship's command center using the subjugator robots. From there, Superman confronts the inactive Brainiac and shuts him down temporarily to buy some time for his escape. Before leaving, Superman disables Brainiac's control center and takes the city of Kander with him back to Earth. While sitting on the porch of the old farmhouse in Smallville, Texas, Kara notices a blue shooting star approaching and shouts with extreme joy to Ma and Pa inside the house. Superman goes straight to the Fortress of Solitude for further action. Unfortunately, back on the main ship, Brainiac reactivates, gears up for vengeance, and sets course to Earth for ultimate destruction. Kara goes in search of Superman and finds him at the fortress. To her great surprise, he has brought back Kander with her loving parents inside it, but the happiness is short-lived as they hear the news of the attack on Metropolis by Brainiac's androids and him on board. Hundreds of androids are raining down on Metropolis, and the citizens are helpless against the robot army. Only the Daily Planet employees are fighting back with whatever they have against the robots. Kara has a breakdown, as she fears that she cannot battle them and go through the same ordeal once again. But Clark encourages her and helps her to make up her mind. The Air Force arrives in fighter jets, but is soon sent packing by the mothership. Missile launchers and tanks face the same fate at the hands of the drone agents. Kara and Superman quickly arrive in Metropolis to defend the city and its people. Drones swarm the area as they battle fiercely, both on the streets and in the air. Superman rushes to the rescue of Lois Lane and her associates, who are under attack by a group of androids and lands on a bridge. But out of the blue, he is attacked by energy laser eyes just like his own, and Kara comes to his rescue. As the mothership launches a new group of agents onto the bridge, Kara goes into superpower mode and destroys all the robots in a quick, powerful assault. When he attempts to fly directly to Brainiac's ship, it activates a powerful absorption process with an advanced weapon. Despite his best efforts to break through the energy rays, he is unable to succeed, while Kara watches helplessly from a distance. With no other options, Clark returns to the Daily Planet to save Lois. However, just as he arrives, the entire city of Metropolis, along with its citizens, is shrunk into a miniature version. This time, Brainiac manages to capture both Superman and Supergirl as well. Superman regains consciousness and realizes he has been captured and is now hooked up to Brainiac's ship. Brainiac reveals that Earth holds no value to him and begins torturing Superman to extract information about Kander, while also preparing to destroy the planet. As the torture continues, Superman notices that Kara is being held captive in a nearby examination room. When Superman asks about Metropolis, Brainiac shows him the now miniature city contained within a chamber. As Brainiac peers closely at the tiny city, he spots Lois Lane inside the Daily Planet building, giving him the middle finger. However, after expressing what Earth truly means to him, Superman breaks free, grabs hold of Brainiac, and throws him down a shaft. He then flies into the examination room and frees Supergirl, 
just before the robots take control of her, but their escape is blocked as they are quickly surrounded by a large number of drone soldiers, along with Brainiac himself. The battle begins when Supergirl lands the first blow on Brainiac, unleashing her fury on the androids. Meanwhile, Superman charges at Brainiac and uses his own cables to electrocute the villain. But unfortunately, the ship launches the Solar Aggressor missile toward the sun, so Superman urges Kara to stop it before it reaches the target. In the meantime, Brainiac grabs hold of Superman once again, this time more furious than ever. Machines and cables restrain the Man of Steel as Brainiac, determined to end him once and for all, goes on a tirade about how pathetic Superman and his efforts to save the world truly are. Recalling Zor-El's words about Brainiac's ideals, Superman mocks him before freezing him with powerful wind blows and knocking him out of the ship. The two fall through the air, exchanging fiery blows as they crash into a swamp on Earth. Despite Superman's efforts, Brainiac remains strong and fights back, but Superman forces the cyborg to confront the chaotic reality of life outside the safe, artificial environments he's accustomed to. The smell of fresh bread in someone's kitchen. Dragonflies in the air. You hear it all too? For the first time in history, the mighty Brainiac is brought to his knees. Superman lands a final punch, shoving him into the mud of the swamp. The combined mental and physical strain eventually overwhelms Brainiac, making it easier for the Man of Steel to keep delivering blow after blow to the madman. Meanwhile, Kara chases the solar aggressor with all her might, and at the very last second, she breaks its core in half, changing its direction and narrowly missing the sun by inches. The missile explodes harmlessly in space as Superman watches on victorious. Seeing the solar aggressor fail, Brainiac is unable to comprehend the situation and he combusts, reducing himself to ash and molten machinery. From the remains, Superman picks up the core of Brainiac's power. He then reunites with Kara and they share an emotional hug. The duo quickly retrieves Metropolis and returns it to its original location, with Superman releasing the city back into its rightful space. After restoring Metropolis, Superman and Kara take Kander to another planet with a red sun that provides them with energy. There, they return the city to its normal size. After establishing the Kryptonian colony, Kara is overwhelmed with emotion when she reunites with her parents after years of separation. Meanwhile, Superman, in his Clark Kent persona, searches for Lois Lane amidst the chaos. When he finds her, they share a kiss in front of everyone, making their relationship official. After an emotional conversation, Clark kneels down and proposes to Lois, taking their relationship to the next level. Deep within the Fortress of Solitude, Brainiac's remains begin to glow, suggesting that the nightmare may not be over just yet. Thank you for watching Second Look. Like, comment, share, and subscribe for more awesome videos. Have a nice day.